Ladies and gentlemen, they continually move the goalpost further and further away from their initial allegations against Trump. So what they do is they say, he worked with Russia. Well, we need to know his tax re- what's, what's, what's in his tax returns. I mean, our beloved President Biden gave his tax returns. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the pay-to-play schemes that his son have, that, that his son's emails reveal, were never investigated. Yeah, I wonder why. So, like, the Clinton Foundation gets money from Uranium One, and miraculously, President Obama doesn't veto the sale of 20% of U.S. uranium capacity. This is, by the way, while his own Secretary of State has servers with top-secret intelligence on them, servers running outside of the United States government. Okay, Democrats, people on the left, liberals, um, anyone on the left, if they play ball and they are... They are part of the Democratic Party establishment. Even the far-left socialists are part of the establishment. They funnel people back into the Democratic Party. They complain, complain, complain for four years and then funnel people back in. The difference between Sam Cedar, who I would love to debate, I've challenged him to a debate. According to the rules of the left, if he doesn't accept, if he doesn't accept, I win. <laughs> so... Uh, it's contactgoodman78 at gmail.com, Mr. Cedar. We could discuss any topic you're passionate about, especially Trump Russia, which was completely fabricated. There's not a shred of evidence. We could look at the evidence and read the evidence together the ODNI report, the Mueller report. We could do anything you'd like. Would lo- stop, stop running from the debate. But the way the left works is there's CNN, Mr. Cedar, far left, edgy socialist, and they're all, you could TYT, you could put them all in the same. They're the same person. It's Trump is accused of something because of people familiar with the matter or because of a New York Times report from journalists who are lifelong Democrats who want nothing more than to justify political um, political investigations, political alleg- politically motivated uh, reports against Trump while they never do the same types of investigative reporting against Biden or his son, where his son's emails actually show quid pro quo pay-to-play schemes. How can you use your influence on behalf of the company is one of the emails. I think that's pretty clear. Not That, that doesn't show up in Biden's tax returns, although he goes from less than 100000 or around 100000 in financial net worth to, what, eight, nine million in the span of less than eight years? Doing what? They say speeches. Have you heard? Have you heard our president speak lately? I don't think so. In books, have you read any books from from Biden? I don't think so. But um, it's a, it's a racket that accuses Trump of what they're guilty of doing. So they are going after President Trump. They're going after their direct political rivals. They've politicized state agencies. Uh, the federal government against him, the Mueller probe, there's no difference between the Mueller probe, which was completely partisan, and the prosecutors in New York. It's not about the rule of law. So 74 million Americans will vote for President Trump, even more so, even more people will vote if he gets, if people around him get indicted, or he gets indicted, but they're not even going to indict him. The, The CNN says, that a uh, Trump organization could face criminal charges in New York as soon as next week. Do you want to know what they're going after him for? Manhattan prosecutors are reportedly investigating a Trump-paid tuition of CFO's grandkids. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is Watergate. This is the, or- the Cheeto Al Capone, Orange Al Capone. Oh, my God. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Hit subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel. The link is below in the pinned comment to my new Patreons. Thank you so very, very much. If you want to support my voice via Patreon, my Patreon link is below in the description and on hagoodman.com. I'm going to be writing more, ladies and gentlemen, so look out for um, some of my new columns and articles, hopefully very, very soon. Uh, You can read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, uh, the Times of Israel, the Roanoke Times on hagoodman.com. They're going after Trump because they don't want him to run in 2024. They think that this is going to tarnish his record. They are sim- If they investigated the Clintons, if they investigated the Bidens, if they investigated Democrats, Eric Swalwell, you could look at all the, the Democratic politicians who were embroiled in their own controversies and scandals that are completely covered up 
by a lack of reporting. When, when it's not, you don't have to. This is the semantic and the uh, logical fallacies that they engage in, the semantic games they engage in. When they say, well, there's no cover-up, it's just not that big of a deal. That's, that's actually when, when you have this paradigm where if Trump, if Donald Trump Jr. You, or Eric Trump utilized the most offensive word in the English language in one of their emails, in one of their text messages to their lawyers, it would be an example of the systemic uh, prejudice that the Republican Party and Trump and conservatives and everybody that looks like Trump, orange, uh, this is how they feel. They have this deep-seated angst. Okay. What, they don't do the same thing. I would love to get Mr. Cedar's take on uh, Hunter Biden and his use of the most offensive word in the English language. Does he even condemn it? Do, does anyone on the left condemn it? Because they would be touching themselves in ecstasy trying to give these morally superior sermons and, and preaching on how horrible Donald Trump Jr. would be if they found him with texting his lawyer, utilizing the same word. The double standard is doesn't have to be this grandiose plot or, you know, this, this diabolical uh, agreement between Comey and the New York Post. Uh, Times and the Washington Post and the DNC and and Hunter Biden and all these, they don't have to actually, if they don't want to discuss or address a topic, that's that's part of uh, helping the Democratic Party. Any topic, whether it's Hunter's emails with uh, Twitter, uh, coincidentally suspending the New York Post's uh, Twitter account, Social media algorithms preventing people to talk about Hunter e- Hunter's emails. Now we can. Social media algorithms, Twitter, and, and, and everyone in media not talking about the potential that Trump was right about the origins of you-know-what. Now people can. Complete fake and false news like Trump clearing Lafayette Square, which never happened. Russian bounties, which never happened. Interestingly enough, you had people like Bill Kristol and the Lincoln Project who vote Democrat. I would love to get any left-leaning pundit's take on that. Talking about bounties, they're the ones who put Americans there. They're the ones who want to keep Americans there forever. And it's President Trump who got them out. On May 1st, 2021, we should have been out already. And people say, well, how come it didn't happen? Because Democrats and media obviously don't want it to happen. Pushed every withdrawal plan from Trump, uh, pushed against every withdrawal plan from Trump. And want to keep Americans there. That's what drives me. I want Americans home from never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts. But here, Trump organizations face criminal charges as soon as next week. They're going after Trump for possi- for giving money, allegedly giving money to Alan Weisselberg, his CFO, for things like tuition, his grandchildren's tuition. This is not private servers with top-secret intelligence on them, simply to hide communication and 30,000 emails deleted by our wonderful Madam Secretary. This is not uh, pay-to-play schemes from Hunter and his father, where you have everybody from the computer repair store owner saying, yeah, this is him, I I have the documentation, to the metadata that proves that it's his, to, like, everything... Former business associates saying, yeah, those emails came to me from uh, Hunter. And it, they don't care. And then, But the, wor- the worst part of everything is that I know, you know, they're full of Bandini. That is just, this is a game to them. They think they have popular culture. They have pretty much all of media in their pocket in terms of a political narrative. And they're going to act in the most duplicitous manner because they can. And then they're going to pontificate. And then they're going to give these sermons on morality when they act in the most immoral manner. They're going after Trump not because he they found anything in his tax returns, because that was supposed to be the holy grail of Trump corruption. They're going after him now for money that he gave to his C- CFO, for his uh, CFO's grandchildren. This is the extent of how despicable they are. They couldn't find anything with Russia or with Zelensky in Ukraine. 
They couldn't. They can't impeach him now, so they're just going to torment him. It's not about the rule of law. Now they want Weisselberg to flip. Nobody's ever flipped on Trump because he's never done anything criminal. The Clintons and the Bidens and others almost certainly have, <laughs> but they're not investigated with the same enthusiasm as Trump, as, as, as the Democrats in government investigate Trump. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you.